Hey guys, I'm Jay with Jay's Gardening, and today I'm going to show you how to clean your lawnmower. Some of the materials you're going to need is some gas, cleaning wise, a rag, a brush for cleaning purposes, and some sort of tray to hold your gas in there. Now what we're going to want to do first is go ahead and shut off the, the gas valve here. For safety reasons, we don't want any of this leaking out. Usually your, your lawnmower has a lot of uses. You're going to go ahead and see all this gunk all around your motor, your head, even you know some of your air filter will start getting clogged up with all this. So what we're going to go ahead and do is take our tray, throw a little bit of gas in there. Once we got that settled, we'll go ahead and take our brush, kind of stroke it back and forth, get it nice and, nice and soaked. And we're going to go ahead and clean it back and forth and also go ahead and dap it a little so it can go ahead and get those hard to reach areas. That's the reason why you use a brush to get those small little areas back there. Go ahead and clean that out. Your rag here, go ahead and clean off any gas that's left over or dripped in there. And you're going to want to go ahead and repeat that process a couple times until you get it nice and clean. It won't act up, won't get clogged, none of your seals will get damaged. Now what we're going to want to do is tip the mower over and the reason for this being is when you tip it over we don't want any of the gas leaking either to this side or to this side. If this valve is open the gas will leak and then you're going to go ahead and have to clean your air filter, have to replace a new one. It's just uh, more work for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and tilt that over. And now we're gonna go ahead and wanna clean the whole under base carriage of your mower and the inner base as well where your blade and your belts are at so it could run properly. It won't get clogged with all the, the grass that gets stuck to the side walls here. Um, there's no particular tool for this process. Um, a lot of people use a screwdriver or just go ahead and use some sort of chisel. What you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and scrape the whole sides Scrape the inner side as well. And once you got some of that grass waste out of there, you're gonna wanna go ahead and just kinda brush it up. You know, if you guys uh, use your hand, make sure to use gloves as well. Be very careful with the blade. Blades are sharp. You don't wanna go ahead and hurt yourself or anything. Clean that off. Turn the blade. Get the other areas as well. Clean that off. And once it's uh, Nice and clean, you can go ahead and put your mower back on its, on its side. And as you notice, there's no leaking whatsoever because we do have the valve. After that process, you're gonna go on ahead, go ahead and turn your valve back on. Once again, this is uh, Jay with Jay's Garden.